What up meal prepsters, it's Bobby, and today we're gonna do some healthy and tasty meal prep for weight loss because you guys have been digging those recipes lately. And I thought I would really challenge myself by doing a low fat version of pasta, meatballs, and red sauce. And it only clocks in around 400 calories, but it's super tasty and it has a few tips I think you're gonna like. But before we start cooking, Let's take a little trip down to the grocery store. You can see how I shop for this recipe and you can see little tips I have for keeping it light. Let's go. So normally when I'm making meatballs, I'm gonna use 80-20 beef. That means 80% beef to 20% fat. But because this is weight loss meal prep, I'm gonna use 90-10. 90% beef to 10% fat, way leaner, but also it can dry out which is why I'm gonna cut it with some ground pork. Now, just because we're doing meal prep for weight loss doesn't mean I'm gonna skip on the cheese, but I'm staying away from melting cheeses like mozzarella or provolone. Those are much higher in fat and calories. Instead, I'm reaching for one of my favorites, Parmigiano Reggiano. It's an aged cheese. And listen up, y'all. When you age the cheese, a lot of the milk evaporates and so does a lot of the fat. Only one tablespoon of this has 22 calories and two grams of fat, but the flavor is really, really intense because it's aged. So it's a total winner winner and you're gonna love it. Welcome to the pasta aisle. Now get the heck out of here because it doesn't matter what kind of pasta noodle you're using, they're gonna have way too many calories and fat. And trust me, I looked at every single one. Traditional spaghetti with flour is out. Brown rice is out. Even rice noodles used for pad thai is out. The problem is they're all starch-based pastas that have pretty much the same amount of calories and that does not fit in our weight loss meal prep. The answer, you guys, is zucchini noodles, AKA zoodles. If you haven't made these guys yet, you're in for a treat because they're so tasty. And the truth is, as soon as we make the sauce with the vegetables and pour it on top of the zoodles, you won't even know it's not pasta. Now, as much as I love the 80s, let's get out of here. People are staring at me. Security's coming. Let's go home and make some food. We were honestly this close to being booted by security, but I was able to skirt the edge of law. So in front of me, I have the one pound of 90-10 ground beef and half a pound of ground pork. Now it's time to season these meatballs and make them the bomb. So I'm gonna grab one and a half teaspoons each of onion powder and garlic powder, and then shake in half a teaspoon of dried thyme and half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Now in last week's challenge video, you guys noticed that when I opened my pantry, I have a ton of these little spice containers that Desi got. And they're really cool because you can either open it to this side and pour out a good amount, or you can open it to the shaker side and just shake out a little bit. And then if you wanna take about a teaspoon or two teaspoons, you can just pop off the lid, put your spoon in there and scoop it out. If you guys want these, I'll put the links down below over on Amazon. Judging by the look in my pantry, I may have bought them all out right now, but I'm sure they have a few more. And then shake in half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now last week, a few of you were alarmed that I did not zest anything and I hate to let you down, I'm not gonna zest anything again this week, but I am gonna use my microplane zester to grate a little bit of that Parmesan cheese that I grabbed at the store. Crack one egg into the bowl. The egg's gonna be our culinary glue that kind of binds everything together. Now would be the time that I usually take about a slice or two of bread, crumble it up, put it in a bowl of milk or water, let it soak for a couple minutes, and then add that to the beef mixture. It really makes the meatballs light, fluffy, not too dense, but Bread is way too high in carbs, way too high in calories. We can't do it, but I really think that pork, that ground pork is gonna make our mixture light and fluffy. So for now, I'll put this aside. If you are cheating a little bit or you don't mind a little extra calories, do it. Go in with one tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. Pinch in one teaspoon of salt. Don't adjust your screen. I am using pink salt because I'm out of kosher salt. But if you guys haven't tried the Himalayan pink salt, it has a really good flavor, a ton of minerals in there, and it's not expensive at all. I'll put a link down below on Amazon so you can hook it up. And finally, a few cracks of pepper. All right, the only thing left to do is de-bling, my only bling, and then use my bare paws and mix this up really good. I'm gonna dip my hands in some water, and then I'm gonna grab the meat mixture. And that'll just prevent the meat from sticking to my hand. So I definitely wanna do more weight loss meal preps coming up soon, especially that beach season is right around the corner. But let me know what kind of recipes you guys wanna see and what kind of meal preps you wanna see. Leave a comment below because I love doing the videos you request. Those are my favorite. 
My 15 meatballs are locked and loaded. Let's get them in a 350 degree oven for 18 minutes. While the meatballs are in the oven, let's get started on our veggie loaded marinara sauce to top our pasta noodles. I'm preheating a large pan over medium high heat. Go in with two teaspoons of olive oil and then dump in some onions, orange peppers, and broccoli. Then pinch over about a half a teaspoon of salt and a couple cracks of pepper. Now, yes, that is a whole bunch of veggies, but I wanna make this as veggie packed, as nutrient dense as possible. And after we cook this for about 15 minutes total, these veggies will wilt down by at least half. Then we'll add the red sauce and everything will be awesome. Now, in the meantime, I wanna show you how I make my homemade marinara sauce. It's really good and whenever I do it, I make a double or triple batch and keep it in the freezer. This is how you do it. You make the sauce by cooking onions, garlic, and carrots in extra virgin olive oil, adding a bunch of Italian tomatoes. And I like to finish off the sauce with a little touch of honey. That helps balance the acidity of the tomatoes perfectly. After about 10 minutes, you can see the veggies have wilted down by almost half, but they ain't done yet. First, we have to shake in about half a teaspoon of dried thyme. And then what would Italian food be without a whole mess of fresh garlic? Honestly, there is no such thing as too much garlic, especially with this recipe. So what I like to do to peel the garlic is take my knife, place it over, give it a flat whack, and then squeeze the garlic right out. Just like that. Don't break. You can't break the knife, just so you know. Contrary to what Desi believes, you cannot break the knife. Nah. Won't work it. This is Japanese steel, it doesn't warm. And then finally slice it. When I get close to my fingers, I like to rotate the garlic around there because I don't feel like chopping off my finger. Now, one tip I love for getting that smelly garlic off your hands is walk over to the sink, get your hands wet, and then rub them all over the stainless steel and the smell goes away. All right, you guys, it's been 18 minutes exactly and I don't want to overcook my balls. I want it to stay nice and juicy and those look good. Little bit of color on top. If I squeeze the meatball like this and it feels firm, but still has a little bit of give, I know it's done. There are so many zucchini noodle makers at the store. I just picked up this guy right here. I'm gonna feed a half of a zucchini in here. And then all I'm gonna do is crank her and wait for some spaghetti to come out the other side. And then check it out. You literally have spaghetti noodles made out of zucchini Another way to make these zucchini noodles is using a mandolin and then just rock it going long ways like that. Make sure that it's going the long way, not the short way. And then when I turn over the slicer, I have these really cool noodles here. All right, you guys. So it looks like it's gonna take three zucchinis total. And check it out, yo. We're making fresh pasta like they do in Italy. But they don't do this in Italy. It probably makes them very mad that I'm doing it. <laughs> now you could eat this zucchini raw with our veggies and our sauce, but I kind of want to get that raw edge away. So we're going to blanch it or cook it in salted boiling water super quickly right now. And then let's add all the zucchini noodles in there. I'm only going to cook that for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to get an ice bath ready because as soon as these noodles come out, they have to go in the ice bath to stop the cooking process immediately. Now you guys, if I didn't do this, all the residual heat would continue to cook the zucchini noodles and overcook them and make them mushy. I'm taking the marinara sauce, make sure it's hot, and then put just enough to coat the noodles, and then add some of the veggies, a little bit of fresh parsley to wake up the flavor. And once again, because it clocks in at only two grams of fat and 22 calories per tablespoon, I'm gonna grate over maybe a half a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. It's gonna add such a salty, nutty flavor, you guys. And then I said I wasn't gonna do it, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I have to zest it because you guys gave me the hashtag of zest for a reason. And to be honest, I really think a little bit of lemon zest will wake up the flavor and give it a nice pop of acid. And you guys, last week on my Facebook live stream, I gave away a few of these. So if you're not checking out the Flav City Facebook page every Wednesday at 4 p.m., get on it because I'm doing live cooking recipes. You can interact with me, we can hang out. It is a blast. And then give it a nice toss. Oh, you guys, that lemon zest gives so much aroma as soon as it hits the hot sauce. Gosh, I love that stuff. I do think it needs another shot of sauce. Let's add that. Remember, you could always add more. You can't take it away. Whoa! Whoa, my God! Ah, ah, oh my God, I eat this on camera. It's still going. What? This is not gonna happen. Hold on a second. You guys, 
The noodles are al dente. The tomato sauce is tangy. The vegetables are sweet and crunchy. Zest popping. The cheese nutty and earthy. I don't even give a rat's butt that that's not spaghetti. That is good. That is comfort food. Let us build our meal prep containers. Glass meal prep containers in check. Low cal, low fat meal prep for weight loss looking awesome. I'm gonna grab a big portion of the zucchini noodles with marinara and veggies. Place that in the container. And then three meatballs right next to it. All five containers are done. So let's tuck into one of these meatballs and try. You guys, these meatballs are money. They're beefy, they're juicy, they're light, and they have tons of flavor. And I'm loving the fact that per meal, we're talking about roughly 400 calories, but the full macros and the recipe are down below in the description box, along with the storage and the reheating instructions. Share this video, you guys. Spread the love, sub to my channel, if you want to see two more awesome recipes that are low cal, low fat, but high in flavor, check the ones below me. I'm coming back at you next Friday. Hashtag keep on cooking.